I find that I can make a contribution to my donor advised fund when I have funds available. Then when a charity comes to me and I want to make a donation to a nonprofit, those funds are there for me to draw on when I might not have personal funds available at that point in time. Another thing that makes it very easy is that there are certain times during the year when people want to make multiple donations. And with that fact in mind, I fill out one sheet of paper, it comes to the community foundation, they cut the checks, send out a very nice cover letter, and it is done. A lot of people uh, in my generation, uh, they're selling stocks. Um, they can sell those stocks, have the money come to the community foundation. It is a non-taxable event, and they can have the money where they need it to draw on in the future if they cho so choose. It is also uh, very uh, good that our money at the foundation is handled by a financial advisor that we hire. So you know that it is being invested properly, it is constantly growing and compounding, and it is there for forever and ever for the community benefit. When my husband died, his 401k retirement plan rolled over to me and it is being handled and invested by a broker. But I found that when, at my demise, the uh, money that would roll over to my children would be taxed twice because it is a non-taxed uh, amount of money. And it would be taxed by the government with the regular taxes and also with uh, inheritance tax. So I have made the community foundation the beneficiary of that account and when I pass on, that will flow over into the foundation and my children will be able to designate how they wish it to be spent. It's a win-win for them and for me.